Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, that is my beautiful wife. That's me in the army, vet Bruski. Here are my drones. These are my RC cars. That's my bicycles. And these are the real cars, the GTL, the 50th anniversary Camaro SS, and the Chevy SS. Fun fact, this car is branded as a Chevy. That car is branded as a Pontiac. They're both by Holden of Australia. And this is Heavy Chevy. This is our 30 foot motor home. Right now we're just doing some camping, but hopefully in another year or two, we're gonna head out in this thing full time and travel all through the US and through Canada. I wonder if I could fit the X-Max in there somewhere. And this is the game room. This is uh, this is my work area. This is where I fix all the RC cars, where I keep all the parts and go ahead and work. And today we are going to be upgrading my uh, Rustler, the 4x4 VXL. There's a few upgrades I want to make to it, plus there's a few things that it just kind of needs. So um, I've noticed that running this thing that the ESC and the motor get really hot on here in Florida. So we have a lot of heat and I've already had it go into like reduced power mode. So I'm going to be doing the heat sink. I'm going to be doing a fan on the heat sink. And then I have the fan for the ESC. Now I've heard some problems with these fans maybe breaking off some jumps. So if they do, I have, I already have the Protec fans. Uh, you know, what can I say? Also right here, this is the upgrade I heard. You know, a lot of people say it's worked well. This is the, um, this is the bearing adapter for the slipper shaft from the factory this piece is plastic and with the high heats they said this tends to melt so we're going to go ahead and upgrade that um, so i want improved handling out of this thing i mean if you look like these shocks here and a lot of people complain about these things that they just pop loose and you lose this bottom piece and the shafts are really small on here so like this one here is kind of tight this one here is just loose and bouncy uh, I don't know. I think they could definitely be improved upon. So we have the Traxxas, the GTR shocks. So this is definitely a bigger shaft. Plus it's got that nice coating on there. And then we also have the springs that we're going to be putting on there. And then we're going to be putting on the suspension arms right here. Not only are they, they going to look pretty good, they're going to be this nice pretty blue which matches the body over here they're supposed to be a little bit stronger especially like in colder weather stuff like that but i know i don't get a lot of cold weather but we do get some cold weather now i did see some reviewers complain about these plastic half shafts breaking fairly easily so i saw people going to these aluminum ones by gpm or actually they're steel steel and aluminum uh, now that I have them, I don't know. If you pick these things up, they are quite heavy. That is a lot of weight. So you're adding a lot of reciprocating weight to everything and a lot of weight to the vehicle. So I was going to put these on now. It's going to be really easy while I got everything opened up. But I don't know. I think I'm just going to wait and see how the factory ones handle. So I do have this as a possible upgrade if it is, I don't know. I guess it's this review. When I bought these a lot, I saw everybody's really positive about this. And then I start seeing videos, people talking about how these things just snapped or, or how they started damaging stuff in the differential or whatever because of the weight that these things carry when they're spinning. So I don't know. I don't know. So <laughs> gonna wait on that. But the rest of this stuff here. The fans, the bearing is a half to, and this is just going to be like a nice little hop up to make the make the car uh, run a little better. But so far, I mean, it's, it's an amazing car. I love this thing. Uh, it goes really good. I mean, yeah, the ground clearance isn't the best, and it hits a lot of stuff. But that's kind of the point of this thing. It, it's low to the ground, and uh, that's kind of what it's for. But uh, I do notice that even the smallest jumps, this thing bottoms out really bad. So I want to try to get get a little bit stiffer and a little better valving with the shock. So, all right, let's 
dig into this thing and uh, hop up the Traxxas Rustler. coffee break time so here we are this is the slipper clutch now what I'm curious about is they say no more than tighten it up and then no less than half a turn I'm curious where the factory has this thing set so we're gonna give it a turn look at that one turn one and a half one and a half is the factory setting Wow. All right, I was kind of curious what the factory had to set at. So this is going along pretty good. Um, stupidly, I put the front shock on upside down. But this is what everybody's talking about. You picture how fast this gear is spinning. And here's the bearing, and it is. It's just on a piece of plastic. Luckily, I only got about two runs on this car, so get it done before it melts and becomes part. And that bearing still feels good, so I'm just going to reuse this bearing. Other than that, it's, it's doing good. I do the shocks first, that way it has time for the uh, air bubbles to boil up and everything, which I actually need to go ahead and start doing the rear shocks now. I'll go ahead and get this back end put in, and then we got to pull the motor out to put that heat sink in so let's go ahead and get the shocks and uh you can hear it's kind of loud the ac so this is why we're doing a time lapse truth see if the fans come on oh yeah it's on look at that you can definitely feel air I really feel a lot coming from this one. I definitely feel a lot coming from here. So check out the shocks. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Look at how pretty. Also, let's check out the A-arms. What do you guys think? Alright, let's put the body on. Just in case if somebody noticed, um, I did put the bearing on backwards. That plastic, the metal piece I put in. 
need to go in first and then the bearing. I had the bearing and then the metal piece, so don't worry. When I put this together, I noticed that this was sloppy. It was moving around everywhere because the bearing wasn't in here. It was backwards, so I, I did get that fixed. So. So there we go. Take a look at it with the body on. Unfortunately, you kind of lose the shocks. Can't see the shocks anymore. It's kind of sad, but you could definitely see the blue A-arms. Uh, I think I like that. That looks pretty good. But we didn't get the shocks for the look. We got them for performance. So I definitely need to run, wrench these front ones. Um, tight. Yeah, so I'll tighten these up, and then we'll go ahead and give it a test drive and figure it out. So, lesson learned. Remember, I'm just getting back into this, so I'm picking up things. But lesson learned: when you go to the track, check your settings. Um, I was having such a hard time driving; it just kept running into stuff. And I, I mean, I know I'm not the best driver out there, but I know I'm not horrible at this either. And I couldn't figure out what was going on, but my steering trim was cranked all the way to the left. That's why every time I like try to straighten out. You know, it's like I, I take right hand turns pretty good, but like the left hand turns, it would just always go everywhere. So, lesson learned always check your trim settings. Also, guys, check this out. I'll put this down into the uh, RC car section, but um, I'm loving it. I just bought this thing uh, for basically like backpacking and hiking, but this is by Gerber. It's called the Dime. Check this, man. It is a small multi tool. This is really handy to keep in your toolkit uh, when you take these cars out. And you got like a little pair of scissors. But one of my favorite things here that's been going on lately, because I've been ordering a lot of parts, is this thing has this. This is designed for cutting plastic bands and stuff like that. But man, I mean, this makes ripping packages open so easy. So if you're looking for like a little multi tool to keep in your kit with stuff, I'll leave it, like I said, down. I have a link in the Amazon store. Uh, go to RC Cars. I'll put that down there. But um, yeah, so as far as the Rustler, what do I think? Uh, so the fans definitely worked. They definitely did the job when I was wrenching on the track, and that kept touching the motor, touched the ESC. Everything stayed nice and cool. And something I didn't videotape because you know the GoPro is really limited as far as like range, but. Um, just outside the track was like a lot lot of grass like a long gravel driveway uh, a really good place to run 
the vehicle and test out the shocks and everything else at like full speed. So I did several full speed passes. The ESC and the motor stayed nice and cool. And as far as the suspension and the shocks, yeah, it did fantastic. The last time I tried going uh, through grass at speed with this thing, it jumped a lot. It actually flipped and tumbled. I didn't have it flip once going through the grass. It just plowed through it. I could see the suspension working now. I'm not an expert. I don't know a lot about the suspension. I can't tell you that this weight oil makes a difference, this weight oil, uh, this, that, and the next thing. All I know is that the factory shocks, to change the preload on the springs, you have to put these like little plastic cups in there, these little things that clip in. It's kind of hokey. These, you can just turn a little collar and adjust the spring rates. Um, I noticed on the track too, when taking the jumps, it landed really nicely. I mean, you could hear a thud, but it wasn't that that smack I was getting before. I mean, you look at that track, it's not, those aren't terribly big jumps. And I think the car should be able to make that kind of jump without bottoming out. I mean, I know it's not like the uh, X Max or anything like that, where tons of ground clearance and could easily absorb that. It's more of a, you know, a race car, something like the Frog or the Hot Shot. It's more like a track type thing, you know, it's like what they call a stadium truck. So not expecting to take big jumps and handle, handle it and not bottom out, but uh, I do like to see just to be able to absorb bumps and, and you know, take some turns. So I, th I feel like the shocks made a tremendous difference in the way it uh, handled. You know, like I said, when I did the full speed runs, it stayed planted. It felt pretty good. So I'm happy with the upgrades. Oh, I did notice in the gearbox when I went to, I was going to reuse that bearing. When I went to slide it on that metal piece, it wouldn't go on. And when I looked, there's black stuff that was like kind of a little caked inside of there. So I'll, I'll take a little wire brush somewhere or maybe some like light sandpaper and clean that up if I ever need to use that bearing. But I mean, I'm going to keep the bearing. It's a good bearing. It, yeah, there is some plastic residue and like maybe two batteries through it. It already started melting and sticking to that. So that's definitely a good piece to up. Uh, update upgrade two. So, all right, that's it. The uh, so that's my upgrades on the uh, Traxxas Rustler. So very happy with everything I put onto the Rustler. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll go ahead and get you to subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Make a comment. It all really helps me out. It's a free way of helping the channel. Don't forget to check the links down below. We have you some discount codes and some good shopping opportunities. If you if you shop Amazon, a lot of you do. Please save my store as your homepage. Get a little commission on what you buy and it adds zero to your cost. Absolutely nothing. It helps fund buying these cars and trips and stuff like that. So if you're into maybe mountain biking, RC cars, travel, go ahead and get you to subscribe. My interactions between me and my wife are quite hilarious at times. And you know, that's what a lot of people uh, subscribe here for is just me and her interactions. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing some repairs and some mods and some other RC car stuff. Like I said, and then we're going to travel, get in the uh, motorhome there. We're going to travel. We're going to go all over and take in the world, you know. So I'm trying to get a few things set up here financially before we head out. But we will be heading out. So in the meantime, we'll be doing RC car stuff, enjoy mountain biking, like I said. So till next time. Stay safe, stay motivated, stay positive. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.